In 1977, I was becoming a more socially conscious storyteller, as the Steelers were becoming a passing team under Terry Bradshaw. Early in his career, Terry was frequently benched, had fans calling for his head, and opponents questioning his intelligence. I knew what I was doing. Maybe I didn't act like I knew what I was doing. Maybe I was too funny too lackadaisical, but I was extremely focused. You know, I didn't want to be a failure, and it looked like I was heading that way. I'm shy from people. I'm shy from a lot of people. I don't like to be uh, made a fuss over. If I said I was the shy person, that would, I lied. I was, I've never been shy. My country image and the way I would act and some of the horrible things people said about me forced me inside. They say, well, no wonder we're not scoring any points. He's a dumb quarterback. He can't even find his car after the game, you know? We won two Super Bowls where running and defense was the main thing. Let's go, Joe. As we're getting older, we were more balanced. We needed Terry at that time, and he stepped up and lit it up. Terry transformed into the blonde bomber just as Dawn of the Dead became my first film in years that wasn't a bomb at the box office. That's a blonde bomber. Yeah. After Hollywood Henderson famously challenged Bradshaw's brain power, Terry learned how to spell MVP in Super Bowls 13 and 14. Bradshaw hesitates and then throws deep for Stallworth in the end zone. Touchdown, Even Rocky Blyer leapt off his once wounded foot without the aid of a stunt double. Bradshaw throws the pass, and I'm thinking in that second, I'm thinking, oh, he's throwing it away. If I can just tip the ball down, maybe, and I put my two hands up and it's stuck. Rocky in Super Bowl 13. Rocky got about that high off the ground. <laughs> The Steelers scored 37 combined points in their first two Super Bowls. In their next two, they put up 30-plus in each game. The offense we ran in Super Bowl 14, same one we ran in Super Bowl 9, didn't change. Same, same thing. 